By booking their spot in the next round of the Olympic qualifiers, the St. Kitts and Nevis Under-23 men's football team achieved an amazing milestone. The team drew 1-1 with Jamaica last week Sunday, which was pivotal in qualifying for the next round, having early dispatched Dominica 4-0. The team returned on Wednesday at the RLB International Airport, and our confident coach Earl Jones said the result was not a surprise to him. For the Federation, I mean, it's, it's, it's good to, to, to go to Jamaica and, and had to defeat them. I mean, our game with them drew 1-1, but then because we didn't allow them to go through, I mean, it, it is some, it's a plus for us here in St. Kitts. It's all in the game, you know. I mean, we, we go down one, one goal to nil, we still didn't panic. We had an ulterior motive. We, we decided we go into Jamaica to create a, a perfect opportunity for St. Kitts football. And, and so that in itself, you know what I mean, speaks. And I mean, the game is the best teacher and, and the guys then really went out there and the fight. And that's what happened, you know what I mean? Come out victorious. Prior to leaving Jamaica, Coach Jones had rightly predicted that his team would have qualified despite Caribbean powerhouses Jamaica in that group, along with Ghana and Dominica. Guyana withdrew on the eve of the competition, but Coach Jones was not deterred. He noted that it was a high time that teams such as St. Kitts and Nevis ended the competitive advantage that teams like Jamaica have been enjoying for years. I don't believe they did underestimate us. I mean, a wake-up call. If I was a coach, I would have found something good to say as well. I mean, the wake-up call, it's, it's not, because what I'm saying is that... Uh, Jamaica and, the, and, the, and the, the Trinidad and the Haiti and stuff, I mean, too long we're taking that boat from them. I mean, they, they know what we, can, we, what we could have done and I mean, we did it. And I mean, and this, this, the same set of youngsters uh, were in, a, uh, I think, two years ago, or it could be two to three years ago, uh, we met them with the same Jamaica group and in uh, Dominica Republic, which we, we, we also beat them two goals to nil. I mean, history repeats itself, you know, and, 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 and trust me to you, as I say, whatever can be done, let's do it. Let's do it. The next stop is the Dominican Republic. In a home and away tie, dates still to be decided. Coach Jones is very confident that St. Kitts and Nevis will administer the same medicine to a different patient. The guy's ready. I mean, they're really, really ready. I mean, to you, I mean, this been... This, this group is a, is, a, is a hell of a group. I mean, the best we've been seeing um, over the past five, ten years, as I said before in a, in a previous interview. And, and, and they're really ready to you. They're really ready. I mean, to those who put this together, all, I, all we are asking is, I mean, if you create something, just support it. This milestone comes on the heels of an excellent performance by the St. Kitts and Nevis Under-20 women's team that qualified for the CONCACAF women's competition on the same night the men drew with Jamaica. In the Group B qualifying stage hosted in St. Kitts, the Young Sugar Girls defeated all four of their opponents, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Barbados and Anguilla, to top the group and join four other Caribbean countries in next year's competition. President of the St. Kitts and Nevis Olympic Committee, Alfonso Bridgewater, in a congratulatory note to the St. Kitts and Nevis Football Association, hailed the teams for their achievements. To the under-23 football team alone, I'm not talking about the other areas of assistance and support we provided for the senior team, for the female team, but just for the football team alone, in this particular section of the competition that we're involved in, in Jamaica, it cost us, we provided sponsorship, assistance to the tune of 50,000 US dollars just for this one trip. But I think it was what they were. To have defeated Jamaica in Jamaica is quite a feat. And I know I'm talking to somebody who has part his heart in Jamaica, but I think we already bought him out in St. Kitts and so he, he had divided loyalties there, I suspect. But it's quite a feat to have defeated Jamaica in Jamaica, which speaks to the quality of the football and the determination that these players have. I can't give them enough praise. I saw them prepare a little bit, and credit to those who had to prepare them. I, I, I credit them for the pride in which they, they played as well. He said the Sugar Girls were impressive. He said, quote, given their recent entry into this level of competition, their accomplishment is indeed a credit to their commitment, courage, pride, and improving skills, all attributes that I observed in the match St. Kitts Nevis versus Barbados that I witnessed before traveling to Peru for the Panam Games, end quote.